Hey everyone, we're getting ready to start making some uh, berry shortcake and we're going to do a play on the shortcake. We're just going to use the Betty Crocker cake mix here and you can use any flavor you want. Today we're just using yellow. I pre-mixed the batter to the instructions on the box. Basically all I'm going to do is take my butter, swirl it around here in just a second, put my molds down, fill it up about halfway because it will rise and then two to three minutes later I will remove the molds, we'll flip them and we'll let them finish cooking on the other side we'll remove them, we'll let them cool and then we'll start plating for our berry shortcake so bear with me while I get everything set up and we'll be right back alright, I've already started swirling my butter around putting my mold down, I'll do the other two while I do this It doesn't take a whole lot of butter, you just want a little bit so it doesn't stick. Get our mold there. Put that in the shade. Like I said, we're just going to fill this up, not quite all the way to the top, about halfway. And as you're going along, you may have to adjust your temperature. Depends on the outdoors with the wind and everything else. So we're just going to let that go for a few minutes and then we'll be back. I'll remove the molds and we'll flip them. All right, everybody, we're back. Um, we're getting ready to remove the molds. As you can see, the bubbles have kind of told us that these should be ready. We're going to give it a shot. Just be careful, these get a little warm. Go slow. There we go. Sometimes you have to give them a little shake to get them out. Just be careful. The flip part, you just kind of get under it and go slow, and you're just going to flip it nice and slow so it doesn't splat too much. One, two, three, and four. Slightly brown, a little dark here, but that's kind of normal. And then we'll just let these go for about another two, three minutes, just until they're done. And then we'll plate them up uh, with our berries in, in a little bit as soon as these cool off, because we don't want the other stuff to melt off. So we'll be back shortly. Alright everybody, we're back and we're getting ready to decorate our berry shortcake. So we have some strawberry glaze here. We're going to take a spoonful and we're going to coat the bottom of one of our shortcakes here with some of this glaze. It's kind of thick so we'll spread it out as best we can. And then we've got some strawberries I cut up into flat pieces to put on the bottom. We're just going to put a few of those on there. Try to get them all in the same direction if I can. Put a few more in the middle here. Take some whipped cream and we're going to spray some of that in the middle there. And we're going to take one more from the top, push it down a little bit, take some more of this glaze and spread over the top. Kind of helps keep the berries in place. Now if the top is going to be a little different with the strawberries, I've got some that I've just 
basically halved. And I'm going to put these on the top here. Like this. Oops. Get back here. And then I'm going to take a little more whipped cream in the middle. And put a few blueberries in there. As such. And then to finish it off, we're going to put a little bit of whipped cream on the sides. And a blueberry in the middle of each one of those. And there you have it, our berry shortcake.